Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get FSR on any game. Now most of you are probably familiar with the Magpie technique that I showed. However, you know, Magpie is not in English, and there is an English version that you can download, not made by the same person, but just translated. And there's also an issue where it is very stuttery in some games. Now, I have no doubt that that will improve, he's constantly updating it. However, there is an alternative program and it does not have any stuttering issues and it works much better so that's the program i'm going to be showing you today so you can finally actually use fsr in basically every game so it's called loss of scaling it's on steam now there is a catch to it it does cost five dollars however there is a demo version and the demo version is not time based you just don't get access to every feature so the feature you don't get access to is the scaling. So right here, this is the scaling, it's on custom. It will be set to auto, which means it'll decide how zoomed in it is and how it's not. And the scaling feature is for if you want uh, the black bars or not to be shown. So, and I do recommend reading the readme when you download it to understand how each setting works. It's very important. So. There's also other ways in which it works better, but I will show you it. So right now I'm going to go into the game. As you can see, I set a custom resolution value of this, so this should be ultra quality. I could just set it down to normal 1080p though. It uh, doesn't make a difference in all honesty. The, the visuals are kind of the same because the resolution is just so close to each other to begin with. But one reason that it's better, and I'll show you actually as soon as we get into the game, instead of uh, explaining it. Alright, one reason, another reason it's better, rather, is that, as you can see, although when I click on the home button, it's not taking me out of the game, I have to undo the thing, so I have a, I have a scale hotkey, alt plus P, so I press it again, it's back in, so it's like it's in full screen borderless, because Magpie suffers from an issue where it can just, like, if you try to do anything, like change something, you'd have to re-enable and stuff uh, and all that and but this just acts like it's in full screen borderless basically because it it's just uh, because it just stays it stays in the full screen mode it doesn't really go to windowed and even if it does it, as soon as you click back on it it automatically upscales it again and you can tell when it's on because it's like little yellow outline all around goes up against it and yeah this this looks a lot like uh, native 1440p, which is what I run, so the result is great, and you don't have to worry about the performance issues or, or stuttering that other people had. However, so you don't really need the process lasso program, but I do still recommend Reva, and not because it's required, but because capping your game's frame rate is just something that you should do. It's just... Uh, Especially with Reva, because in-game frame rate caps are kind of bad. But anyways, that's the entire video. I showed you how to do it. You can try the demo version. It's it's pretty good. Uh, one last thing, though, is games like Warzone, Modern Warfare. When I used that with Magpie, it did not work. The input delay was terrible, and it was unplayable. And it actually works fine with this. So games that weren't even playable on Magpie, let alone just had a few stutters every now and then, were completely playable with Lossless scaling and both magpie and loss of scaling can be used on netflix and stuff so there's that as well so thank you for watching